So good afternoon everyone. Sorry I can't be with you right now. I've just started in my position to this competition. So here is my story. I'm Ayra Fernando. I'm 25 this year from the Philippines and I have a degree in electronics engineering. My first job is um, technical support. And then while I was doing that job, I got um, into like learning as a habit after reading the Power of Habit book. And then from there, I enrolled in an online course in deep learning and AI. Around one year prior to the challenge, I joined my first online course in deep learning at Udacity. Then after finishing that course, I got into a scholarship by Facebook, another one for deep learning, but this time in PyTorch. Then after that, I had another and another degree for deep reinforcement learning. And after I got that second scholarship, um, I decided to like call it quits on my first job and then find something in AI. The challenge, I saw it around the time that I resigned. So I had nothing to do, so I was in Instagram and scrolling and scrolling and then I saw this advert and then that's when I saw the challenge post. Yeah, so I come from Manila and as we know, like traffic is quite bad in Manila. So that was one of my motivations in like solving the problem because it was a um, traffic congestion problem. I was lucky in a sense that it was one month long. So I have a lot of time to like do research, um, prepare and um, do like prototypes. So yeah, I kept doing this and then I polished and polished the final um, submission until what you see in the submissions during the challenge. Being shortlisted was a very happy feeling for me. Like I said, I was out of a job, so being shortlisted means that I have like first in line for openings in the company. So that's, that was quite motivating for me as well after the results of the competition. I think the impact is more on like the matching between an employee like me who doesn't necessarily have the degree like data science or AI, but I do have um, the passion and the skills to compete. So I think that shows um, future employers like what I can do, like what I can give to their company as well. I think the employer would benefit mostly because they'd see how you would work in terms of a problem that they're also working on in their company. So they get to gauge your technical skills, like how you solve the problem and how you approach um, difficult problems as well. For me, it was a great experience because it accelerated me to a position where I could be in a company that um, I can show my passion and my skills and do the things that I love to do.